Here is the best way to use the Nikon D5600 DSLR camera as a webcam and get the best value. A few weeks ago, I had posted a video on Nikon webcam utility which provides an easy way to start live streaming with the Nikon DSLR using just a micro USB cable. But the method had several problems that limited its usability. So here is the best way to tap all the potential the D5600 camera can offer to create a better live stream. For this method, you need two things. One is a capture card like this, which has an HDMI port for connecting to the camera and a USB-A connector to connect to the computer. I will tell more about the video capture card at the end of the video. The second thing you need is the mini HDMI to HDMI cable, which has a mini HDMI port on one end and a full size HDMI port on the other end. This cable is required because the Nikon D5600 gives its video out through a mini HDMI port located on the side. Here is how the connection goes. You connect the mini HDMI side of the HDMI cable to the camera first. Remember that it is a mini HDMI cable and not a micro HDMI which is much smaller and not compatible with the D5600. Now connect the full sized HDMI side to the video capture card and then connect the USB-A side of the video capture card to the computer. After connecting the camera to the computer via cable, turn the camera on. Extend the lens if it is required to start recording videos. Now you can turn on the streaming software of your choice. I am using zoom here. If you cannot see the output from the camera, change the camera to a USB 3.0 device. The name might be different depending on the capture card you use. What you see with the overlays here is the default output from the camera. You can make it better by turning off the overlays by pressing on the info button multiple times until the overlays are fully gone. If you are getting slightly distorted and low quality video like this, you can do two more things to ensure that the highest possible resolution is used in the streaming software. First is to ensure that the camera is sending full HD output through the HDMI cable by going to the menu, open setup menu, scroll down to HDMI and open the menu item and change the output resolution to 1080p. Now the picture looks clearer but the aspect ratio is still off. To correct it, go to the video settings in the zoom app and turn on the HD. Close the settings window. Now the video looks much better than the previous one. You can now use the output from the Nikon D5600 camera on any live streaming software. Now a few words about the capture card I used for this video. I did some research before buying this video capture card. But the best one I found in my research was the Corsair Camlink 4K. It was a bit pricey and I did not need a 4K output because the Nikon D5600 did not have one. I have been using the Pybox capture card for about 6 months now without any issues. If you need 4K output for your specific DSLR or you want to future proof your purchase, go for a 4K card. Otherwise, a Full HD card would suffice. If you have any doubts about the setup, you can ask in the comments. I will be sure to answer them. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Have a happy day.